Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and I want to go over a few things. Uh, first, I want to go over some of the new things that are coming soon in After Effects. Mikey's Production Tips is brought to you by Cinema Spice, After Effects tools, video overlays and backgrounds, and sound effects. I want to cover a couple of new things that are really cool that are coming new to After Effects that I think are just great. And at the same time, I want to show you something I've been working on, a, an update to one of my presets called Charts and Graphs, and I'm updating it to use some of these new features that are going to be coming to After Effects really soon. So what I want to talk about is path point access and then bringing in, in external data through a JSON file into After Effects. So path point access is, is pretty cool. This is one of the new features, and what it does, and let me show you, is you see here I've got you know a little animation of a plane moving along a path and this is something we can do we've done before in the past where you can take the path and then copy and paste it into the position of the plane but what this new path point access does is I can come in here and I can move the path around and everything stays where it's supposed to be so I now have access to all these path points and where they are and, and what they're doing. You couldn't do that before in After Effects. I can connect to these through expressions. Um, I can have nulls move these. I can have these points move nulls and vice versa and all these different things. And I can also trace along the path. Now what the After Effects team has done is they've created this little script called the Create Nulls from Paths script. It's now included in the next version of After Effects that will automatically do some of these things for you. So let me just kind of show you how that works. Let me hide these. And then if we were to create a path of any sort, a shape layer or a mask or even a paintbrush, I can come in and so let's make a path. Make sure we go down in the contents and highlight that path. And then I've got some options. So points follow nulls. That means it'll create a bunch of null objects. And then as I move the nulls, the points will move. Um, nulls follow points. So that means as I move the points, the nulls will move. So it's just vice versa. And trace path will trace along the outside at a 0 to 100%. So that's what I had done with the plane is trace path. So if I click on trace path, it creates this null object and on the null object that has a progress. And I can sweep along the progress and it'll just go from 0 to 100% along the path. And as I move the path, that will change and update with it. So, so let's... Um, delete that let's go back in and this time and this time let's have the points follow nulls and so what that is going to do is it's going to create nulls and then you can see as I move that null object the points move along with it so this is kind of a really cool feature and you're going to be able to do a lot more stuff with paths and shape layers because of this new thing. Now another thing that you can do that you may not think about is the mask tracker is a mask and it has points. So now you have access to that afterwards. So just really quickly, here's something that I've tracked. I just want to show you what I did is I was able to put a mustache on this guy on Brian and move it around and I just use the mask tracker if you've ever used the mask tracker before and you thought hey you know what this is good um, it does a good track or whatever it sometimes the mask tracker is the best tool for the job sometimes it's other tools but the problem with the mask tracker is up until recently you can't do anything with that data except for you know add an effect to it but now Let's uh, turn off this mustache. You see those points? Well, I just parented them to these nulls through that script. 
So now as those points move, those nulls are moving around as well. So to do this mustache effect is I just use the puppet pin tool and I'm now connecting the puppet pins to those null objects. Pretty cool. And as he moves around and moves his face, it kind of moves along with it. Now the last thing I want to show you is what I've been working on. And what it is, is an update to charts and graphs. And this is the first one, which is uh, line graphs. And this is using the new path point access. And it's also using a new thing. Uh, the other thing is the external data, but I'll show you that in a minute. So how this is going to work, if you've seen my old preset, I had it uh, at seven points. You can only do seven points just because it was really kind of hard to um, program all that. I've got this one up to 20. So I can come in here and move this up and down. And I can build a graph, which is really cool. I also have you know, a way to animate all these at once. Or to kind of have it reveal on that way. But what I want to show you is the external data through uh, a JSON file. And so I have a JSON file just in a text document. And you can see um, it's just kind of a scripting type language. You, it looks fairly similar to what you do with expressions and things like that, but it's not the same. This is data, and what I've done is when you have this JSON file in After Effects, so we've got it right down here, test.json, I can link to it and be able to bring that data, and I have it mapped to these points in this line graph. So if I turn this on, I've got this checkbox here, I turn it on, and you can see it switched all these points. So let's come in here and let's change something. So this first point is at 150. If I change this to 250 and then save it, let's go back here. You see that? It automatically updated that. So now, if I've got a lot of data points, you know, I can save that in a different type of file and be able to bring it in to After Effects. And you can even use some online converters that will do like a convert a CSV to a JSON file to be able to get um, that data you know, an easier format, you know, a CSV or a spreadsheet is easier to work with than a JSON, but there's lots of converters out there. So these are just a couple of things that are new with After Effects and some things I've been working on with the update to charts and graphs. So expect more um, information on charts and graphs. I'm actually going to be adding some more um, graphs that I didn't have before, some new ones, and also just a whole lot of new features that you couldn't do before, like this uh, external data import through the JSON files. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. And I can't wait for this new update of After Effects to go live so everyone can have a chance to play with all these great new tools.